Garrison has based his case on a certainty that he can prove Clay Shaw is Clay or Clem Bertrand. The name Clem Bertrand was first introduced by a lawyer named Dean Andrews, who told the Warren Commission a person by that name telephoned him suggesting he provide legal defense for Lee Oswald. Three years later, Garrison suggested to Andrews that Andrews identify Shaw as Bertrand. Andrews said he told Garrison he wouldn't say if Shaw was or was not Clay Bertrand. The same as Clay Shaw. You say I identified him. I don't know if I did or I did not. Since then, Garrison has taken his former friend, Dean Andrews, before the grand jury where he's been indicted for perjury. Before that happened, Andrews talked with us. Man, I wouldn't know Clay Shaw if I fell across him on the street dead. Right. Has the occasion arisen for you to take, to listen to, uh, to Clay oh, Shaw's yes. voice? Oh, yes, all this popped up. They had him on TV, so I just shut my eyes and listened to the voice, and that's not the voice. In other words, you're saying that Clay Bertrand is not Clay Shaw? I'm saying that the voice of Clay Shaw is not the voice that identifies Clay Bertrand. Right. Now, you have seen Clay Bertrand on two occasions. Uh, two times. You'll see Clay Shaw's picture in the Since this happened many times. Okay. Can you say positively that the person you knew as Clay Bertrand is not the person you have seen as Clay Shaw? Scout's honor. He is not. Now, did you, did Mr. Garrison at one point ask you about certain operations across Lake Pontchartrain? Across the lake. Yes, I think we'd discuss that. Did he ask you if you knew any of the people involved? I think he did. What'd you tell him? Uh, Manny Garcia Gonzalez and Ricardo Davis. Did you know Mr. Gonzalez? No. Did you know Mr. Davis? No. Where did you get those names? Out the air. In other words, these names were fictional as far as you were concerned? Well, I'm trying to see if his cat's kosher, you know. So what? So he's kosher, I don't know. Uh... So you just picked two names out of the air? Right. Now, why did you do that? Well, I don't know what he's up to. He's picking me like chicken, shucking me like corn, stewing me like an oyster. I mean, he ain't put nothing down but air. So I give him two names, see which way he's going. In other words, you made up two names to see what he was going to do with them. Right. What did he do with them? Well, I don't know. He hadn't done anything yet. Well, have you had any occasion to have him talk to you about either of those names since then? Uh, about two weeks ago, on a Saturday, are we talking, and he picks up... Uh, a weapon with an item number on it. What kind of a weapon? A pistol. Semi-automatic. Black. Probably 7.6 millimeter. I didn't examine it. And says that Manny Garcia Gonzalez in Miami or someplace down there got busted for carrying a concealed weapon. And I told him Manny Garcia Gonzalez was never busted in his life. I didn't believe it. He put the weapon back down. We talked some more. And that was it. I left. Did he tell you this was a gun taken from this man? When from he... Emmanuel Garcia Gonzalez. When now, he... I don't know if the Manuel Garcia Gonzalez he's talking about is for real. Or if the Manny Garcia Gonzalez is the name that I pulled out of the air. This I cannot say. What was, your con... tell. what was your conclusion from that conversation? Well, if it's the Manuel Garcia Gonzalez that I told him, he's got the right ta-ta, but the wrong ho-ho. We know that Manuel Garcia Gonzalez has not been questioned, but many others have. And many have told us that they've been subjected to pressure to give testimony that would build the case against Clay Shaw.